Hey guys, it's Brogan. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so, so much for all of the new subscribers. I'm seriously so thankful and so excited um, that I'm getting some more viewers. Welcome to the family. Royce and Aria are over there. Can you guys calm down? Calm down, Royce. They're crazy. I'm gonna have to send them upstairs. They're gonna be in the back. Royce, hi. Hi, you wanna be the star of the show? Go upstairs, Royce. Sorry guys, they obviously wanted to be the center of attention. Today I am filming a first trimester pregnancy question and answer video. I am almost 14 weeks uh, and I figured this was a good time to kind of go over how my first trimester went. A lot of people had questions and I just kind of wanted to update you guys. I asked Twitter some questions um, about my first trimester, what you guys wanted to know, and I selected a few to answer. So let's get right to it. So the first two questions are kind of similar, so I'm gonna read them at the same time. The first one is, what were your first thoughts when you found out you were pregnant and were you completely surprised when you found out you were pregnant or did you kind of already know? My first thought when I found out I was pregnant, I was pretty shocked because we weren't trying to have a baby and I guess part of me kind of knew because I had a missed period and I don't know, I didn't really have any other symptoms but I just like had this feeling inside um, so I went and I got a pregnancy test and I took it by myself. Matthias wasn't with me because I was like, if I'm not pregnant, I don't want him to think that I'm a like freak for thinking I was pregnant. So yeah, I was definitely very surprised. I'm um, very happy at the same time because this is something I've always wanted. I just didn't know when it would happen in my life and I'm, it was a little bit earlier than we were planning on, um, but we're very excited. So the next question is, what were your symptoms beside the obvious missed period? Honestly, in the beginning, I didn't have any other symptoms. I was just late on my period and like I said, I kind of just had like this feeling like, I don't know, people say you have like this mom instinct, so. And I'd never had that feeling before, so I, I kind of knew, but I didn't have any other symptoms. My symptoms, other symptoms didn't really hit me until, I think when I took my test, I was probably like three and a half weeks pregnant or so. I got heavy symptoms. It wasn't until I was further along, like six, five, six, seven weeks, eight weeks pregnant. Next question. Did you have spotting early on in the pregnancy, any cramping that accompanied or even separate from it that scared you? I've had it, but doctors say my baby's okay. Well, I feel you, girl, because I've had a lot of friends who have gone through, you know, scary experiences. I, luckily enough, have not had any bleeding or spotting at all since I found out I was pregnant. I definitely would be terrified if I was, but like I said, I have had friends who have gone through that and their babies were totally fine. It's actually, I think, pretty common to have some spotting in your first trimester. Um, so I hope that everything is working out for you and I hope you are blessed with a baby, beautiful, healthy baby like we all want. Yeah, I'm very fortunate that I did not experience anything like that. I did have like a little bit of cramping in the beginning but nothing major and nothing that was like a red flag like oh this isn't normal it was just like you know pregnancy stuff going on how long did you try before you got pregnant well we weren't trying so I can't really say how long I mean we have been in a relationship for five years so we've been sexually active for a while um, but we weren't trying to conceive a baby so I can't like put a timer on it on this is how many months we were trying before it worked or whatever um, but I do believe that it's very very difficult to get pregnant and the timing is like everything so when it happens I think it's a blessing and that you should be so happy and thankful like even if you weren't expecting it because I know that there's so many women out there who try to get pregnant um, when they are ready and they have a really tough time or they're not able to um, so I'm just thankful to the world that I was given this opportunity to be a mommy. Next question is, I was hoping you'd do a Q&A. How did you find out you were expecting? Who did you announce the news to first besides your partner? What was the hardest thing to handle during the first trimester? Um, well, I kind of already said, I guess, how I found out I was pregnant, but I guess I'll go more into the story. Basically, I kind of thought I was pregnant because I had a missed period, but I didn't tell Matthias and I didn't tell anybody. I was just kind of looking up like things about taking a pregnancy test online, and 
I don't know, pregnancy tests are really expensive and I'm a pretty like frivolous person with my money. So I found like a bunch of forms online that said that the 99 cent store test are just as accurate and good if you are pregnant as the ones that are like $20 in the store. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just go to the 99 cent store and like grab a pregnancy test and see where it goes from there. So I went, um, that like evening when I got home from work and I got one and I also read on the forum that like it's best to take it first in the morning and like your first urination because that's when you can have like the most hormones in your pee because it builds up like overnight. So um, that evening I went and I got a pregnancy test and I took the test the next morning and I leave to get up for work pretty early and Matthias was like up late working that night so he was like sleeping in and I was already going for work and so I found out and I didn't want to like wake him up and say I'm pregnant and I'm leaving for work bye because I wanted to like have a moment with him and I know like I knew it would be emotional and stuff so I found out and I went to work for like the whole day and I knew the whole day and I so badly just wanted to like text him and be like I'm pregnant but I knew like I wanted to make it special so I waited until I got home and like at work that day I wrote like this huge like letter and I gave it to him and yeah when I got home I gave it to him and we cried and cried and cried and we were so happy um so yeah that's like how I found out I was expecting um who did you announce the news to first besides your partner so obviously Matthias and then um we immediately told like quite a few people because we were so excited um and I went down the list of people like who I knew I'd get a reaction I wanted to from first and that'd be easy to tell because like I said we weren't trying so I knew like some people especially in my family I felt like might not they might be like what you're pregnant so I told like a couple friends first and I FaceTimed them and I like showed them a few stick and they're freaking out and stuff um, because I knew that they'd be happy for me basically and I told my mom I think my mom was the first person we told um, and she was definitely shocked, but she was so excited because she's always wanted a grandbaby. Um, and I told my sister, and we told, like, his, um, we didn't tell, actually, his mom and dad until the next day because they live out here. And we wanted to tell them in person, so we met up for dinner with his mom, and we FaceTimed his dad while we were there, and we told them at the same exact time, and they were definitely really excited. And then we didn't tell, like, our extended family, like, our grandparents and stuff, excuse me, until um, a little bit later, until I had like a confirmed ultrasound and stuff. I think it was like closer to eight weeks pregnant when we told like our grandparents and more friends and like my work and stuff because um, we just wanted to make sure everything was peachy before we told too many people. I think the hardest thing to handle was definitely my morning sickness. Um, in the beginning, when I first started having like heavy symptoms, I was like, five six weeks pregnant and I was literally vomiting like 20 plus times a day I was bedridden I couldn't get out of bed I just had to lay on this couch right here with a barf bucket all day I couldn't go to work um, I'm so thankful that my work was understanding through that time because I know a lot of women don't have that at work and people don't understand like the morning sickness it's just it's not just in the morning whoever named it morning sickness has never been through it because it is an all-day everyday thing and I'm so thankful my work was understanding because I would not, I don't know what I would have done if they would not have allowed me to take a little bit of time off. Um, that was definitely the hardest thing. Um, but the rest of it has been pretty easy. I have like been a lot more emotional than usual. Um, but yeah, I think that it's, I've had a pretty easy pregnancy so far. Like I said, I haven't had any bleeding or spotting or anything really scary happen. So I'm thankful for that. Which leads me into the next question of, how did you overcome morning sickness? So I did not overcome morning sickness naturally and I think that if I would have not gone to the doctor and gotten a medication, I would be so miserable. Um, there's this medication. I did a lot of research and I really tr I tried every single home remedy remedy there was because I'm, I'm, I'm a naturalist. I don't like to take medication. I don't like to put chemicals and stuff in my body um, and I did a lot, a lot of research, and there's only one medication that's approved by the FDA for pregnant women, and it's called uh, Declegis, Decegliss, 
I always say it wrong and the doctor laughs at me. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, that's why I did not go into medicine. Um, but yeah, it is a miracle. I have heard for a lot of people that it's very expensive, but honestly, I would have paid $400 for it because that's how much it saved me in this pregnancy. Luckily, I got like an entire 120 month supply uh, for like $40 because I have pretty good insurance. Um, so yeah, it worked out for me and I take it four times a day. And when I don't take it, I feel miserable. Like if I forget to take my bottle with me to work or something. So um, people say that in the second trimester, the nausea wears off. So I'm hoping that happens for me. I'm just getting into my second trimester and I definitely still have been nauseous. And even on this medication, I still was throwing up a couple times a day, um, but it was significantly better than when I was throwing up 20 plus times a day. I mean, I was, it was miserable. So yeah, if any of you moms are to that point, um, ask your OB about it. My OB actually had samples that she could give to me to like try it beforehand. I actually went to an urgent care before I saw her and I got a prescription for it because it was so horrible over the weekend. And then when I went to her, she gave me some additional samples of it um, and a prescription. So yeah, check it out. Um, there's a lot of other medications that I've heard get prescribed to pregnant women. Um, but do your research because a lot of them are not good in my opinion. So just make sure you know what you're putting into your body. Next question is, how did you find out what cravings are you having? Do you have a name yet? And what is the biggest changes mentally and physically? Um, I kind of answered the first question already, so I'll skip that one. I honestly have not had any cravings, like weird things like pickles or anything i just like i just want to eat everything there's nothing particular that particularly that i've been craving i would say carbs but that's not abnormal for me so yeah i don't i honestly don't think i've had any cravings maybe i have and i just don't realize it but i just kind of like want to eat everything i see yes we do have a name um we love it and we actually had our names for both genders picked out the day we found out we were pregnant, I was like, these are the names I like, this is what they mean, and he was like, love them. So it was so easy. I know some couples like go back and forth until like after they even give birth to try and find a name, but it was so easy um, for us. And I'm so excited to share with you guys what our baby's name will be because I love it and I hope you guys love it too. The biggest change mentally is just knowing that like you're bringing a life into this world And um, knowing that you have like this huge responsibility and I wanna be able to give my baby like everything and give it the best life ever. So I think like mentally just like preparing yourself for a life, I mean like being a parent is a lifetime job. So I think mentally like I don't know, that's been, not that it's been hard to grasp, but just like, that's like the biggest thing. Um, and then the biggest change physically, well, it's no secret that I've had weight struggles and I've, you know, lost a lot of weight. So my biggest change physically is just like watching It's just watching your body change and I don't know, I've had a lot of trouble lately just feeling like pretty. And I know I like, I probably look the exact same to you guys, but I know obviously that having a baby is a blessing and it's a beautiful thing and I can't wait until I'm like super pregnant so I feel super pregnant and I can like see that I have a baby because right now I just feel chubby. <laughs> and I can see like my face changing and I've had like a lot of acne and I never had that before this so yeah physically that's the hardest part but I'm very happy and I'm so excited to be pregnant but you know I'm still human so those are my truths the next question is have you started working on the nursery if so does it have a theme 
Um, we decided that we, we do have two bedrooms upstairs and they're both actually quite big, um, but we decided that we're going to put our baby in the master bedroom with us. Um, just because I feel like I'm going to be more comfortable with the baby sleeping near me so I can keep an eye and stuff. And I've had a few friends who've had babies and they always just end up moving the crib into their bedroom anyway. Um, and also Matthias runs a business out of our second bedroom so we didn't want to, you know, have to totally change his whole deal. Um, and eventually, obviously, the baby will need its own room so we will cross that bridge when it comes but for now like our master bedroom's plenty big to have enough space for the crib and all the baby's necessities um and like i said i'll just feel more comfortable that way so there is not really like a theme because i couldn't make it too like kitty and also that's just not me because it's partially my room so it'll be like more of a mature nursery um but yeah there'll definitely be uh, uh, things to come showing what we're gonna do um, and also maybe that'll help some of you guys out who don't have an extra bedroom and you have you don't have the choice to put it in another room you have to put it in your room um, so yeah what has been the biggest change so far that you've had to get used to um, the biggest change so far I'm not very like public about this but I am or I was um, a big medical cannabis marijuana user. Um, I had stomach ulcers and I found that that um, was the only thing that would take my pain away and make me not nauseous all the time due to that. Um, and it actually helps a lot with my ADHD. So a lot of people aren't educated on it, but it's totally legal in my state. Um, so I think that would be the biggest change. It wasn't hard to stop using cannabis uh, at all, obviously. Um, there's just not enough research out about it. It didn't make me feel comfortable. Um, I do know a lot of people who have used it throughout their whole pregnancy because it helps a lot with morning sickness and stuff, but it just wasn't something I felt comfortable doing. Um, so I would say that that was like a big change for me because I was used to having that um, for anxiety and such too so um yeah if I'm just I'm putting it all out there guys I'm being honest with you guys and yeah that was a big change for me it wasn't hard um, but there was a lot of times where I was like wow that would make me feel so much better right now because I was so nauseous and stuff um, but yeah Next question, yay, so excited. I'm glad you're excited, me too. Um, do you have any idea on how you want to give birth, midwife, epidural, hospital, etc.? cetera? Um, so yeah, when I started doing some research on the birthing experience, obviously this is my first time, um, I decided that I wanted to do everything as natural as possible. As I mentioned earlier in the video, like I'm a naturalist, I don't like putting things into my body. So the thought of an epidural is freaking scary to me like sticking a huge needle up your back and numbing yourself and like basically putting yourself in paralyzed state for a while is really scary and also i read that like you can't feel what you're doing when you get that so a lot of people tear because they're just pushing to push and they don't really know like what your body's trying to do so i'm definitely um my plan is to have a natural birth um don't know if we'll stick to that plan. I'm gonna try with every ounce of my being to stick to that plan, but um, you know, things could change in the moment and I'm not like gonna tell you guys that I'm doing it 100% because things could change, you know? There's a lot of things that, that happen during birth and I've never experienced it before. So that's my goal um, is to give birth naturally. Um, I wanted a midwife but unfortunately like the insurance and stuff I have it didn't really work out and it's very hard to find a hospital in Los Angeles that are that will let a midwife deliver they usually still call the doctor to do the actual delivery um there's like only two hospitals that will let a midwife do it and they weren't hospitals really near me I wanted them to be like on I don't know if you guys are familiar with LA but I wanted like a hospital in the valley so I didn't have to go over the hill while in labor and stuff um so I basically decided with an OB, a I am giving birth at a hospital because I just felt like that was the safest in case anything were to go wrong or if I needed extra care, 
I just felt like your first time that's the safest option um, I do think home births are like really cool and water births and stuff like that so maybe next time around I'll do something different um, but yeah that's my goal I wouldn't say my plan because plans can change um, but right now that's my goal to have a natural birth and also that's what my mom did and that's what Matthias's mom did and they both had two kids so I feel like I have some good insight and um, I hope that I can stick to it because I think that a woman's body is definitely made to do this how many kids do you plan to have in the future and how excited are you on a scale of 1 to 100 second question first I'm about an a billion on a scale of 1 to 100 of excitement <laughs> um, I definitely want a few more kids I don't know how Matthias feels about that um, we kind of have to just see how this one goes first I guess um, I definitely want to try for one more of our own so we can try to have like the opposite gender of what we're having we've definitely talked about adopting a kid one day um, there's just so many kids out there that are in foreign countries and are in horrible situations and need a loving home so we would definitely be open to doing that someday I know that adoption is really expensive so I don't know if we'll ever be able to do it um, but that definitely is something that we're open to and would love would love to do um, also I would love to like foster kids someday I don't know that much about it um, but I have some family friends who have done it and I think it would be really awesome if we had like a big enough house someday to be able to foster some children who need it what would you do if you went into labor on Christmas or Christmas Eve? So if you don't know, my due date is December 29th. And honestly, that's my biggest fear is to go into labor on Christmas Eve or have a baby on Christmas. But it's so out of my control. And at the end of the day, all I want is a healthy baby. So whatever day it decides to come on, I don't care. Obviously, it's not ideal to have a baby on Christmas or New Year's or New Year's Day or New Year's Eve or whatever. But out of my control so that's kind of just what I'm telling myself that if it happens on one of those days so be it as long as my baby is healthy um, that's all I care about the last question is are you vlogging the birth absolutely that is something that I want to remember forever um, that's my plan right now <laughs> like I said shit can go pretty unplanned during birth so I don't see a reason why we wouldn't vlog it um, but our plan is to definitely vlog it. I'm hoping to have a friend actually in the room with me when I give birth to vlog it for us. Not particularly just for YouTube, but mainly just for us to remember and to show our kids someday. And because I want to share it with you guys. It's so special and awesome. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, I'll show you my belly if you want. Like this was never here before. This is so not me. <laughs> next week's video is going to be our gender reveal so make sure you click that subscribe button wherever it is i don't know where it is don't miss it because it's gonna be epic and i know you guys have all been waiting for it and we have enjoyed knowing ourselves for a few weeks and now we're ready to let all you guys know so thank you thank you thank you thank you for being a part of this journey and a part of this family we love you so much and we'll see you next week. Bye. She's so chubby. She's so chubby. But we love her. But we love her.